excited to be here. I know this is Miss Cindy. And she is going to take us on a little tour of her sweet little shop. I'm Elaine. This is Dean. And we are Grassroots, Grassroots Living. Living. About to see the world in action. Hi friends, thank you so much for being with us again today. I say us, but Dean is actually not with me today. It's actually my mom and I are out. And we have come over to Hannibal, Missouri. And we've come into this fabulous little quilt slash sewing shop. We'll let the owner, she's here, her name is Cindy. She's gonna explain it to us, what she's got here, and give us a little tour. And it's adorable. There's another little fabric shop up the street. So if you're here, you can run into that one too. But we like this one. So we're gonna take on a little tour and talk to Cindy. Let's go. So first of all, before we even start the little tour, Cindy said she just bought her first RV. So we're gonna, she's gonna tell us about that. She started to tell me and I said, stop, I'm gonna film you. So tell us about your first RV. Hi. We bought a 34 foot C-Class. Okay. And yes. right now we're working on getting it put together and um, we've had multiple packages coming in because I keep ordering stuff for it. And my husband finally asked yesterday, do we have any more room in there? <laughs> Because well, you get Amazon packages after yes, Amazon packages. Yes. Are you going to be sewing it all in yes, your rig? Yes. Yes. I have my, my featherweight picked out mm -hmm. and I've got the first project picked out and we're going down to Branson for a few days. So I'm really excited about it. It's my biggest problem was being able to pick out the quilt I wanted on the bed. Yes. <laughs> Quilters can appreciate that statement. Yeah. I only have a lot to offer for being a small one room store. Um, we do carry sewing machines. Yeah, and you carry feather weights, don't you? Yes, I do. And yeah. over here, we put them out a couple at a time. Okay. We repair them, we clean them up, we sell them, and I absolutely love using them. And so do you have, if I see one and I'm thinking about a featherweight, should I ask? Do you have, well, you said you cut, put them out a couple at a time. So mm -hmm. you might have some in the back that might a be few. something I'm interested in. So mm -hmm. it doesn't hurt to ask. Always. Okay, perfect. We try and clean up some and leave some in back and put some up front, keep them in better shape. We carry a variety of things because we have a lot of travelers. Yeah. We carry puzzles and books. Okay. Oh, nice. And we have the Eversone sewing machines, which we mentioned before. We do a lot with as many different kinds and types of quilts as we can. You can see the quilts along the galley up here. Now, are these just showing the kits that you have or can you actually buy quilts here? We're getting to the point where you could buy quilts, but for the most part, what's being displayed is going to be samples. Okay. Most of our quilters want to see something that uses the fabric they're looking at, so sure. they have ideas. Sure. And you want to create a lot of energy and, a, and again, a lot of creativity. Yeah. So that people get excited about what they're doing. And I noticed that's the same in, you know, we were just over in Hamilton, yes. Missouri. And mm -hmm. it's the same. They um, they don't sell quilts as of yet, for the most part, there. They sell, yeah, yeah like you, what you do here. You run into a point where you get too many samples. Mm -hmm. And I think we're going to be setting up like a sample shelf for sale. Perfect. And uh, so anyways, we try to keep a balance between modern and reproduction, okay. novelty, um, different types of fabrics in those groups. Mm -hmm. So it's a lot of fun. So what are some of your favorites here? I have to tell you, everything's my You're, favorite. Oh, yeah. You know, I, every time we do one, I'm excited about sure. each of the samples. This is one up here. It's called Sky. I love the colors. And um, it goes with a book uh, called Ombre Quilts. Okay. Uh, Jennifer Simpson, I think, is the one who does this. So anyways, um, quick weekend project. Uh, our quilter, Stacy Spradlin, did an awesome job with the quilting to bring it to life. Mm -hmm. And then... Um, I think it's cute how you say it's a, a fun weekend project yes, because... That's what I did. I did it in a weekend. Well, you're amazing. Seriously. Yeah. It, it was just... Well, I'm not a quilter, so... Strips and, and quick just, work. Yeah. I like to film for our um, RV quilters, mm -hmm. yes. right? Um, so that's why I'm here and I have such an appreciation for it, but I'm not a quilter. So to, to me, I look at this and I feel like this would take me a lifetime. <laughs> no. No, this one was so, this one I could one. teach you in a week. Yeah. Okay. And I see um 
I see John Wayne here. We have him in the window. So. We just finished hit part of his sample. Okay. And uh, the joke here is I saw the fabric line two years ago, not this particular one. Yeah. And I kept saying, we got to have John Wayne fabric. And everybody yeah. kept saying, no, we don't need it. Yes, you do. <laughs> so I got about three bolts just so I'd have some. Okay. It sold out in the first week. See? It was wild. And then uh, this one was the second incarnation. And we have lots of beautiful panels. Um, again, we cater to our sportsmen, our service people. Um, well, and I just learned, as I'm learning about quilting as such, I, I just learned how many men. There are quite a few men quilters that I have run into. I don't know if you've had much experience here with that but it is becoming for a lot of older men mm -hmm. instead of fighting them Anyways, joining them this yeah, was yeah. a project uh by patience griffin it's her block of the month uh for the kilts and quilts series oh fun and it's about scottish women who start a quilt retreat and their loves and their adventures and so the neat part about this is the uh, creator of the fabric karen gibbs mm -hmm. I'm gonna give a shout out to her. She's been great to us. She developed a new process of several layers of batik to make plaids. Okay. Plaid batiks, it's something new within the last two years. And um, they did lovely things. Um, this quilt is the block of the month. And then if you look over your shoulder, there's another quilt for the Christmas tree. And they coordinate with the books stories in the books. This one had a gal who was traveling and never had a Christmas tree. So she made a Christmas tree to hang in her hotel so she'd have one. So do you have these books here? Or? Oh yeah, we, we keep them in stock. They're up here. They also oh. have a library quilt, which we don't have a sample for, but absolutely adorable. And uh, this goes with another one of the stories. How fun. And of course, the, the plaid sheepies, they went with one of the later books. Um, they were talking about plaid factories in okay. uh, Scotland. What else do we have in here? You've got sewing machines, you've got fabulous toys. fabrics, toys. Let's see toys. Turn around, okay. right up here. Along oh, the top oh, of the oh. Yeah. This is a unique thing to quilt stores. These are largely uh, 1900s. Uh, we have a few 1800s pieces. Um, some of them are made in Germany, Italy, France, America. Um, and fun little socks. Well, well we um, are involved in featherweight uh, repair and featherweight <laughs> ownership and featherweight fun. We have a group today meeting called the friends with featherweights and and how often do you do that friends with once featherweights, a month. you said once a month fourth thursday they um come in they bring their machines we talk about repair we talk about things featherweight related so if they have a featherweight and need it repaired you're saying they can bring it yes here okay perfect yes. um and we've done quite a few of them we do our own we do other people's so we have a lot of fun love this now i live in a truck camper so okay. I don't know that I'll ever be a quilter. Well, I, I should just... tell you about the three yard quilts. LaDonna, will you grab one of them? But I do know that several, there's quite a few um, that have the featherweights in their RVs. Yes. Because they are the smaller. Yes, you can, yes. You can take any sewing machine in a camper mm -hmm. within a reasonable size sure. that can go. Featherweights are just cool. Yeah, they're cool. Yeah, yeah they're cool. <laughs> <laughs> we have something called three yard quilts. They're produced by the Fabric Cafe and mm -hmm. Donna Roberts. Mm -hmm. These are, again, these can be weekend projects, even for a beginner. And uh, they make about a 45 by 60 throw. You um, can really make some stunning pieces. And of course, patterns are only suggestions. You can always make little changes. Yeah. And Our, what's your name again? I was in here yesterday and you This yours. is LaDonna. LaDonna. Yeah. Okay. LaDonna is one of our long arm quilters. She works with Gina Janes, who also okay. is one of our long arm quilters. Yeah. I am so blessed for the women in this store. Our quilters love to come in. They get help, color combinations, you know, suggestions on patterns. They're great.
What do we have going on back here? Lots of notions, but I gotta show you the ribbons. Okay. Oh, you're gonna love the ribbons. Yes. These are the Renaissance ribbons. Um, these are the tulip pink, and they are French jacquard ribbons, which means they are woven. They're not printed. So on the back, you'll notice. Oh, I see. That these are all woven together to bring out the prints on the front. Gorgeous. And they are, they're not something you're gonna find at Joann's or Walmart either. Mm -hmm. But these ribbons, we have Mary Inglebright, Calf Facet, um, Odile, let's see, Tula Pink. We're doing a lot of Tula Pink right now. Uh, Sue uh, Spargo, Sue Spargo. But and there's your little camper. Yes, there's my little camper. Yeah. That's that's been a friend of the store for a long time. We're working on things that uh, people use mm -hmm. in their life that makes their lives prettier. You know. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we do a lot of zhuzhing around <laughs> here. <laughs> it's just a zhuzhing shop. That, that was a new term coming in. <laughs> We want to make your world a little more beautiful by the things that we bring in. Heck, even your bags are gorgeous. Oh, these. <laughs> Look at your gorgeous little bag. Okay, so you ask for little stories. My yeah. mother used to love pretty bags. Yes. Uh, she's been gone a few years now, but every time someone tells me that, I remember my mom, mm. okay? And mom used to take the bags, save them, fold them up real pretty, and then she'd save ribbons from other people who put on theirs and rewrap everything. So these are the bags that you would get if you buy something here? Yes, we're about to change uh, change to a different style, but yes, we like pretty bags. Yeah, so mom, we're gonna have to buy something here. Did you see the bag? So anyways, you'll see toys all around the room. Mm -hmm. There's some Russian and German and United States and... Now are these, are these for sale or are these yes. just, they are for sale, yes. okay. It, but my mother's sewing machine that I learned on is up here. That one's Mama's. And that we do a lot for uh, our patriots, our soldiers, as far as fabric goes, because families like to make quilts for their heroes. Yeah. And uh, you can't always find the things that they want. We honor God in our store. Perfect. Um, this is gorgeous. It's beautiful. Yeah. This is also a three yard oh, quilt. Oh, this is your this is your 2020 collection. Yes, ma'am. Right. <laughs> An ode to our paper toilet lovers. Paper <laughs> toilet, uh, paper, toilet paper. Toilet paper. Toilet paper. Got it switched around. <gasps> yeah, this is tongue in cheek and and meant to laugh about last year, at least a little, anyways. Well, you had to laugh to keep from crying, didn't you? Oh, without a doubt. Oh, look at this. So we've had yes. to. Uh, limit our toilet paper sales to one yard per person so that they don't get all bought up at once. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> okay. Got to have fun. Yeah. <laughs> well, it looks like you're having fun and it looks like you're doing a great job. This well, is a you. gorgeous and fun little store. Thank you so much for the really fabulous appreciate you tour. giving us a chance and, uh, to show us off. Yeah, a well, bit. I love it. So I saw so in your video that you like to ask people, what is it? Your what, last yeah, question. Yes, the, exactly what we were just talking about. Mm -hmm. When you get down to the grassroots of what makes you happy, the what creativity. is that? The creativity. That's it. Yeah. I mean, I love my family. I, you know, love my dogs. I'm a chocoholic with coffee added. Uh, but what really trips my trigger is the creativity and uh, the challenge of it. Yeah. And then we always ask, ask, how do you live your love? And then I can, but I can see that this you're doing it. Well, cool. we create. We create. Yeah, yeah. it's uh, yeah. it's what keeps us going around here. A lot of people say this is our happy place. Perfect. Well, thank you again for this. This thank has you. been a fun little surprise. This interview has been fabulous. Great. And thank you back there too. Oh, thank you. So everybody, say goodbye. Bye bye. bye. <laughs> Okay, Cindy, you have to do something for me. You have to say, we're thinking of you. Okay, because we're husband, thinking of you. We're husband, my husband's not here, so I'll, I'll, it'll be on cue. You ready? Okay. Okay, so this is Grassroots Living reminding you to get down to the grassroots of what makes you happy and live your love. Thank you. We're thinking of you. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Peace out. <laughs>